Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. It's Wednesday, so it's time to make a box. So today's box is going to be these little Chips Ahoy cookies. Um, I'm in a swap that's all about sweets, and so this is going to be my swap gift. The little two packs of Chips Ahoy lunchbox cookies. Alright, so we're going to do a um, pizza box style box. So go ahead and grab your purple book. And a pen and we are going to find a blank page here we go okay so this is the chips ahoy two pack lunchbox snack okay all right and this is three three four three twenty four all right, so let's go ahead and measure this. Again, you need to measure with either your flaps all the way out or your flaps in, depending on what you, how you want it to be presented in your box. All right, so that tray, I'm gonna do two and three fourths by two and three four. I know it's like right at two and a half, but I'm gonna give it some extra room. By, I'm just gonna do it by one. Okay, I don't feel like measuring the eighths. So two and three fourths by two and three fourths by one. All right, so I know I need one inch all around and in my middle. My left to right is two and three fourths and because we're making it a uh, square my up and down is two and three fourths which you do need to write it in both parts okay so let's math this out grab some pens what do i have okay my left to right is going to be one two three measurements, so two, three, four, and three quarters by, my up and down should be one, two, three, four, five, um, and I am gonna calculate that because we've got the three quarters. So one plus 2.75 plus one plus 2.75 plus one equals two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half. Okay. Had to make sure I didn't leave any of them out. All right. So you can get two of these boxes out of one sheet of paper, which that's cool. Um, okay. The long side is the green side. So we need one, three and three quarters four and three quarters and seven and a half. I got it. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Okay. So the short side, we need one inch on either side. So um, one and three and three quarters. Okay. Let's go ahead and make our ball. All right, I'm using a retired Stampin' Up! color. This is one of my favorite colors. Okay, so on the long side, we're going to cut it at four and three quarters. And I'm going to go ahead and make two because I actually need four. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and score it at one inch on all four sides. You can follow the measurements we wrote down in the book, or you can do this the shortcut way. Score all four sides at one inch. And then now you just need to do the middle two measurements on your long side. So three and three fourths. 
and four and three fourths. So this is if you did the measurements following the book, you would do one inch, three and three fourths, four and three fourths, and seven and a half. And we'll do it that way just to show you the difference. So we're going to follow the book and not do the all four sides first. Then on the long side, one inch, three and three fourths, four and three fourths, and seven and a half. Okay, then on the short side, one inch and three and three fourths. Okay, so either way you do it, they come out exactly the same. Okay, let's go ahead and turn our paper. I'm gonna lightly varnish so you can see the lines. Okay, so turn your paper um, to where the long side is at top. Here, you're gonna grab your scissors and we're gonna cut all of our score lines to that horizontal score line. And can't really see mine because of the glare, but that's okay. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and miter our squares and cut the bulk. miter this one so leave your rectangles alone okay and last one okay so you can do it that way or you can do individual if you want to so you're gonna cut up miter miter bolt up. I'm recording. <laughs> and then cut up. <laughs> miter. Miter. <laughs> cut off the bulk. And then your last one, you're going to cut up. And you're going to miter miter and cut up the bulk. So same results just depending on which way you want to do it. Okay so they're all cut up now you're gonna go ahead and make sure you take your bone folder and you're gonna um, varnish really well and there we go. This is pretty thick paper. Um, I've had this for a while. It's a retired Stampin' Up, like I said. And um, their paper used to be a lot thicker. I think almost like 80 pound weight. This is an old, old. I've probably had this since 2008. Okay. So now what you need to do is determine what is going to be the top and the bottom if you have directional paper if you don't have directional paper it obviously doesn't matter but um, whatever is going to be your top or your lid um, let's check on this one you're going to have two tabs and whatever is going to be the bottom is going to have four tabs so just keep that in mind if you have directional paper Okay, so for me, this is just going to be the bottom, so I have my four taps. And I like to push them all in. Use wet glue. You can use your double-sided tape. Just make sure you get the edges. Okay, and you're going to line it up. You can do one at a time, two at a time, however you want to do it. Just make sure your corners are lined up. 
And now you're just going to tuck this one in, line it up, and line up your other one. Okay, so see I have four tabs on the bottom and the top will have two tabs. All right, so apply your glue. And your tabs, you're just lining up those corners. And what I always forget to do is <laughs> punch a little um, hole for the finger pull. That's okay. Here we go. That's just an optional step. It helps you open and close the box a little easier. So see, you are going to get what I call wings at the back. I'll show you here. But if you just kind of push it in, it'll be minor. All right, so let's go ahead and put our cookies in there. And that is perfect. And it looks super cute. And you're gonna decorate it however you want. I'm going to use the, um, P13 sugar and spice, probably the 6x6 pad. This is the 12x12, 12 12, but I'll probably use the 6x6 and decorate it some super cute way for this. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.